Good afternoon, my name is Gus Barchers and I'm the head golf professional at Quail Creek Country Club here in beautiful Naples, Florida. And today I wanna to talk about the bunker. I wanna talk about greenside bunkers and why it's so difficult for us amateurs to get it out, right? Why do we see so many of our playing partners struggle in the sand and to me i think it's just a foolish sort of misinterpretation of the information between our broadcasters our golf magazines and all our sort of our hour-long clinics on television okay we see a lot of this in the sand when we watch our players i see a lot of the same thing a lot of deceleration into the sand i see a lot of shaft angle forward shaft lean. What we know in the bunker is that the club itself has to be open and it has to engage the bounce of the club. And that loft has to be maintained through the strike. So if we know all that, why are so many players trying to hit down into the sand and to gouge it out? Why are so many players leaning the club? And why are so many players trying to get as low as possible, right? Those are the things that I see in the bunker game that have it totally backwards. So what I want to do today is I want to talk about those fallacies, show them what ends up happening, and then talk about the way you should be playing the bunker shots. The key here, guys, is you don't have to be Brooks Kepka to be successful. You don't have to create 200 miles an hour of ball speed or 100 miles an hour club speed to get the, the ball out of the sand. At the end of the day, we just have to have really good fundamentals. And if we can, then bunker shots could be one of your strengths of your game. So, normal lesson, right? We get down, we see the normal bird foot setup, right? We have the, the path of the club needs to go to the left, the club face angle needs to be going to the right, and our body needs to be somewhat in between where we're also going to the left of target, okay? We see a lot of players who are going to come down and hit the shot, and you'll hit a lot of shots like this. <laughs> right where all of a sudden everything's forward we've hit the sand just like they told us but the ball is still in the bunker okay we'll see a lot of players get into the bunker and they'll do this they'll come up and they'll pull up and all of a sudden it's careening across the green and we've introduced double bogey triple bogey quadruple bogey scorecard wreckers so why is it on tour that this shot is so simple and done almost every time we turn on the television and why do we struggle so much in the sand so the biggest component that I would like most players to start learning is that it's not that athletic of a motion what we have to do is we have to open the club face that's rule number one rule number two is the club face has to pass our hands absolutely has to okay and rule number three we have to swing to the left if we can do those things in the bunker in the bunker then the shot's going to come out high and soft period okay so it doesn't matter if we have a slow swing speed right if the path is to the left and the club face is open and the club face passes our hand the ball's going to come out high and soft it doesn't matter if we have a fast swing speed okay the ball's in front of your stance the club face is open and again the path is to the left if we do it quickly all we should see is more height right okay and the idea here is that you don't have to be a tour player to be a great bunker player so what we want to do the key here is tall keep your feet out of the sand eliminate all the digging and then the big key for me is the handle in the plane that it creates if we lower the handle all of a sudden essentially what we've done is we've now made the plane really flat and it's really rounded so at the bottom doesn't matter what we do we could have plenty of loft on that club vase and we could do everything else correct but if the path of that club is flat and going to the right like a circle right if it's going that way we will not hit a good bunker shot so instead of the flattening of the plane, instead of the lowering of the handle, what I want players to do is I want them to get their toe on the ground. 
that's the thing. This is the toe of the golf club. I want their golf club to be as vertical as possible. If we can get that club vertical, it's going to be that much easier to get the path to go left and maintain the loft to the club, right? As unlike if we get that handle low and we get that path going left, look at how hard it is to maintain the loft of that club. It wants to shut, okay? So if we get in the bunker again, forward ball position, left body, vertical handle, toe down and open club face, okay? And here, what we're gonna try to do is get the club face to pass our hands. Okay, now we've ended up with a shot that comes out high, ends up soft, and we have a chance for par. If you're coming to see me down here at Quail Creek, know that you will get out of the bunker every day at home, I can guarantee it.